KSPW Weather with Chief Meteorologist Lee Sullivan. Good evening, everybody. It's Monday. Let's recap the day. It's really a tale of many microclimates is what it is. Uh, 80s and 90s, Santa Cruz County. Today was a cooler day. We've had uh, some fluctuations in temperatures over the last uh, couple of days. Some spots did get hot, but that, certainly not on the peninsula. 66 in Monterey, 68 in Seaside saying what heat, where? Yeah, just go a few miles inland, though. It was a different story. Uh, middle and upper 90s. King City had 96. We had 93 in Gonzales. Salinas, though, 74. So we did have a sea breeze today, and certainly that made a big difference if you were out the coast. 85 in San Jose and 95 in Hollister. So there was even a range uh, for some of the valleys. So, yeah, it really depends on the wind direction and uh, where you're at. 100 in Fresno, 96 in Sacramento. That's really not a big deal for them. They're about 90 this time of year on average. Uh, here we go with the heat, the 122 in Palm Springs this afternoon, 115 in Vegas. That's pretty dangerous. You really don't want to be outside exercising or doing much of anything, really. 86 San Diego, 95 in L.A., and it was really 100 plus in the basin just inland from L.A., so almost all spots a few miles from the beach there uh, were about 100 to 105. You can see Phoenix was 113, and they're still there right now, 68 in Denver, so a lot cooler in the Midwest and up into the Rockies, although Boise's got 95. There is some heat running in the center of the country too, 92 in St. Louis. Mostly quiet here except for parts of Missouri. You can see this frontal boundary just draped over uh, the central part of that state providing some thunderstorms and that's really about it. Of course, we've got the heat. It's centered out here in the deserts and that's where it's going to remain for actually about five to ten days worth. So all of this heat here stays here occasionally nudging in on us and then occasionally backing off and that makes a big difference in our temperatures and our forecast. The long range shows this area of low pressure up in the Gulf actually sliding into the Pacific Northwest and kind of just nudging our high pressure ridge uh, down and a little further away from us by like Thursday and Friday. So we will most likely cool off a good chunk of the state if you're inland uh, by then. You can see our temperature profile. The heat actually builds in a little more tomorrow. So we'll have more widespread 80s and 90s inland with a few spots probably near 100 and that will kind of hold through Wednesday. Now by Thursday and Friday there is some cooling coming in. We'll still have our sea breeze going at the coast, but at least some relief for the inland valleys as we head towards the end of the week, but it's still going to be warm. This is not a big cold front. If it was, you would see these cooler temperatures, these 70s sweep over the state and that is not projected to happen anytime soon. Microcast actually showing that maybe we'll get a finger of fog there right on the peninsula. My bets on it are pretty low at best. It's a, a probably not going to happen. There's no marine layer out there right now, and it's going to be hard to establish itself, but I wouldn't rule it out. It's not you know, 100% certain that we'll be completely clear in the morning. Either way, it's all sun tomorrow, even if we had a little finger of fog in the morning hours. It's not going to make any difference. 50 to 60 tonight. A mild temperatures up at higher elevations because we have a lot of warm air up above, and uh, that will stay in place. Uh, tomorrow, it's pretty much all sunshine at the bay, and if you want to cool off, that'd be the place to be. Still low 70s to middle 80s, so it'll be warm there. And everybody's really above average if you're off the peninsula for the inland side and the hills. 89 to 99, warm to hot uh, for the valleys. And here are your temps, uh, 70s and 80s, mixing it up in the south and east bay. Once you get a little further inland, though, you're at 89 in San Jose and middle 90s, Morgan Hill and Gilroy, 96 in Hollister. Uh, upper 70s here in Salinas, but uh, middle and upper 90s. We could get very close to 100 tomorrow in King City. At the Bay, though, very really pleasant. 70 in Monterey, 73 in Seaside, and 70 in Marina. We'll have our sea breeze certainly in the afternoon. Middle and upper 90s, though, up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. It'll be toasty there. You get down into Santa Cruz, about 86 at the height of the afternoon, and 84 for Watsonville. Your case BW 8-day forecast. Uh, showing temperatures of the coast pretty nice, really. 60s and 70s. We may get some more low clouds, though, maybe on Wednesday morning, Thursday morning, Friday morning. And then we're kind of mixing it up with a little fluctuation in temperatures through the weekend, but it'll stay warm. And then heat rebuilding again next week at this time on Monday and Tuesday. So all of this hot air really hangs around. For the inland valleys, it's warm all week. You know, if you're in the hotter spots, it does mean middle 90s. And then it gets pretty toasty again, probably late in the weekend and early next week with the possibility of crack in the century mark. So I don't know, do we call it a heat wave? I mean, it depends on where you are. We're not breaking any records. Uh, we could touch a few maybe here and there, but for the most part, it's just above average. For I think anywhere. it's really out in the desert. It's, you know, yeah, it's, it's really in the well. desert. So we're about five to 15 degrees above average, but averages this time of year between, you know, 75 and 85 degrees. Yeah, so not bad. So it's summertime. If you want cool temperatures, go to the coast. Yeah, dip your feet in the <laughs> ocean. Yeah, there and you cool go. Down real